Outlook 2013 clients to connect to Exchange Server 2016 using Windows 10 and Windows 8.1 OS. All right. We have mailboxes, we have users, so how about if we test the connectivity? As I said earlier, we have some internal clients over here. So in those, uh, and, and these internal clients would like to connect to this exchange server to access their mailboxes. And this is what we need to test. That do we have to configure something in advance so that our client can connect to it? Or once the exchange is installed and the CPN have, um, uh, have the required uh, uh, addresses and mailbox has been created, and after that, nothing else is required. Let's see. Let's find out. Uh, as per Exchange 2016 documentation, supported Outlook clients are Outlook 2016, Outlook 2013 and Outlook 2010. And in this map, we will test Outlook 2016 using Windows 10 and Outlook 2013 using Windows 8.1. So let's get started. I have here Windows 8.1 machine and here I have one Windows 10 machine. We will use these two machines. Windows 10 have Outlook 2016. Sorry. I would like to log in on this machine as Mark. Remember Mark Nicholas? I will log in as a Mark Nicholas. one of our executive. And Windows 10 is setting it up. Few things for him. So meanwhile, let's switch to Windows 8.1 and let's log in as Steve Smith, what do you think? Another executive. So, S. Smith, and the password will be okay. Windows 8.1 will also set a few things. So let's see Windows 10. Okay, it's still setting up. It's the first time for these users to log in to these Windows stations and to access their mailboxes. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. So, so far we have done nothing special. We just installed Exchange Server and we have mailboxes and move some of our executive mailboxes to Executives DB and create a new email policy. Uh, for abc123.com. So now each user have two addresses, one for domain abc123.com and one for itsense.com. And itsense.com is the default domain and also itsense.com addresses are set as default addresses. 
Okay, it seems like Windows 10 is ready. I have already installed on this machine Outlook 2016, and there is no rocket science to it. It's very simple installation. What I will do, I will just pin it to the taskbar. So let's launch our Outlook 2016 on Windows 10 and let's see what happens. Okay. Welcome to Outlook 2016. And do you want to set up Outlook to connect to an email account? And it's searching, 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 searching. Yeah. Okay. Mark Nicholas. Let's see. Oops, security war warning, uh, warning, security alert. It's expected as we know that we have self signed certificate, right? Later on in one of the video, we will see how to replace it, uh, how to replace these self signed certificates with some third party CA certificate. Mm -hmm. Okay, congratulations. So when I click finish, Mark Nicholas mailbox is right in front of me. This is Mark at itsense.com, this is inbox. And here, if you recall, we created one shared mailbox called executive mailbox. And Mark, Steve Smith, and David had access to it. They, are, they have access to it. So, both mailboxes are visible. So, this is it, as you can see. It's very simple. Once Exchange is installed, users have mailboxes. Just install Outlook. When the user will launch Outlook, it will automatically detect settings from ED, and user will be able to connect to its mailbox. The only annoying thing here is self-signed certificates. Uh, and later on, we'll see how to replace those certificates. So how about a new email? I shoot this email to Steve Smith. Let's see how his experience going on with Outlook 2013. Tell me. Okay, it seems like Mark wants to brag a little bit, but that's fine, you know, it's just first time, he is excited, so that's okay, let's 
let him brag a little bit. So we'll ch I choose the delivery receipt and sending to Steve Smith and send. And the mail was in outbox, and if you notice, it just gone. Okay. Let's see how is experience for our buddy Steve. Yep, as you can see, the message has been delivered. Yes, it's delivered, but did Steve manage to log in to his mailbox? Let's find out. Okay, Steve is here. Steve Smith, or Steve Smith. And now Steve needs Outlook 2013. Okay, Stevie. Yeah. Let's pin it to taskbar for our ease. And now Steven Smith or Steve Smith, sorry, will launch Outlook and Outlook has been launched. Welcome to Outlook 2013. Next. Yes. Mm hmm Self-signed certificate. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Good. So far, so good. With an exception of self-signed self certificate. Pretty annoying, right? Aha, Mark Nicholas. <laughs> okay. So let's reply to that. I also managed. Yeah. And send. Okay. Of course, we can change the view between all folders. Steve Smith and executive mailbox, remember? This is all our folders. And let's see. Yeah. I match. Actually, yeah. I just move my cursor a little fast. So just my mouse accidentally dragged that to deleted items because I just deleted it. It's good. So Steve can access his mailbox. Mark can access his mailbox. One more thing I will, one important thing I would like to mention here about Windows 8.1 that uh, actually, it's not about Windows 8.1, it's about Outlook 2013. That in Outlook 2013, just make sure that you have uh, Service Pack 1 installed for Outlook 2013 
as well as uh, there is a patch for Outlook 2013 which was released in February of this year. Let me just show you yeah, this one. February 10th, 2015 update for Outlook 2013, KB295607. So I would suggest the easiest way will be to update your Outlook to the latest or Office to the latest. Otherwise, if you are in hurry, install Office 2013 with Service Pack 1 and then install this update and after that you should be okay should be able to connect to your exchange 2016 mailbox using outlook 2013. which client is better which client is not well as we all know uh, it totally depends uh, with every new outlook there is there's a lot of improvement there's, there are lots of new features people love that you know definitely microsoft wants you to try out uh, always latest client for exchange because don't forget microsoft exchange it's uh, one uh, it, it's the it's the server side you know uh, system an exchange is something which is visible to clients so if your clients are happy clients are satisfied clients have some new exciting features your deployment will be a success but if you are um, using exchange 2016 with the with latest and greatest service pack and patches but you were still stuck to Outlook 2010. Yes, your clients will be able, clients will be able to connect and users will be able to do their jobs. However, they will not be exposed to new and exciting features that new Outlook client has to offer. And I don't see any problem as long as uh, i mean usually most of the enterprises are on volume license agreement with software assurance so you have you always have assurance uh, you have always access to latest uh, versions uh, it's a part of uh, software assurance agreement so this is it in this video this is what we wanted to test and we have succeeded we connected to Exchange using Outlook 2016 and Outlook 2013, and we were able to successfully exchange some emails. So this is it, and see you in next video.